figure we don't need to go through all of that. <laughs> Dr. Vidula, it is your game. All right, so let's go through the categories. Water restriction, electric, dark room, food is fuel, and the diagnosticians. All right, so we have to determine who's gonna go first. Should that be by buzzer as well? How do you wanna do that, or is it? Looks like uh, Katerina, we, we need you to reset the buzzer, thank you. Um, you can do a random start. Um, we can do, how many fingers am I holding up behind my back? Whatever you want. Random. Do a random start. Let the system pick a, a which team? All right, U of R, you are starting. So U of R, you're gonna pick your category. Uh, if you win the answer, you will select the next category as the winner. We'll take electric for a hundred. This or these are the most frequent VT mechanisms. A, re-entry, B, automaticity, C, triggered activity, or D, all of the above? Team E. What is re-entry? The most common entries are digestion. That is incorrect. Almost says most frequent. Uh, team C, uh, it can also buzzed in. What is all of the above? That is correct. All right, back to the board. So team C, I believe has the board and gets to choose the next category and amount. We'll take electric for 200, please. Doctor. This is the same question as the- No, no, this is not. This or these are the most common mechanisms of VT. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, this is 200? Yeah. This, this should read, it's not these, this should be this is the most common mechanism. Well, the this reason of these is because all of the above is an option. No, that was, that was for 100. So we need to throw this question out? Nope. This question is, this is the most common mechanism of VT. This is the most common mechanism of VT. A, re-entry, B, automaticity, C, triggered activity, or D, all of the above. I believe we have uh, some folks that have buzzed in. Katerina? Team D? What is A, re-entry? That is correct. We'll the do, winning team? We'll do diagnosticians for 100. During sinus rhythm, the electrical impulses originate in the right atrium and move to the left atrium, predominantly across this to maintain synchrony. Team D. What is Bachman's bundle? That is correct. Diagnosticians for 200. This is the predominant bundle supplied to Bachman's bundle. Blood supply. Blood supply. Blood supply. Can we answer? Sorry. Team C, U of R. What is the SA node? That is incorrect. Team E, WMC. What is the right coronary artery? That is correct. All right, it's your board now. We'll do water restriction for 200. This is the improved LV size and function in response to drug and device-based therapies for heart failure with reduced ejection fraction. Team D, well, Cornell.
Team D? Like a generic answer. What is heart failure with recovered ejection fraction? Six. Wait, wait, is this the right uh, team that's responding? No. <laughs> this is team B. Team Who? D won D. the bus. D as in dog. Uh -huh. All right, who's team D? What is heart failure with recovered ejection fraction? That is incorrect. Uh, team, team B, Mount Sinai. B as in boy, Mount Sinai. They buzzed in, so they have to answer, right? Yep, yep. You go ahead and venture a guess. You're going to lose points. Ten percent. What is ten percent improvement in ejection fraction? That is incorrect. Next team is WMC Team E. Okay. What is positive remodeling? That is correct. All right, it is your board. If you buzz in, please remember to answer right away unless you're having trouble unmuting, but please answer right away. Water restriction for 100. For 100? Yes. This is the product of cardiac output and mean arterial pressure. Team D as in dog, Cornell. What is cardiac power? That is correct. Close enough. Your board? Diagnosticians for 300. 2020 ACC AHA guideline for valvular heart disease recommends tier trans catheter edge to edge repair in patients with chronic severe secondary mitral regurgitation related to left ventricular systolic dysfunction below this pulmonary artery systolic pressure. Team D as in dog, Will Cornell. 50. How much? What is 50? Five zero. That is incorrect. Team C, U of R. What is 70? That is, that, that is correct. I can. <laughs> Let us finish the category for $400. This is the most common late manifestation of Lyme disease. Team D as in dog, Will Cornell. What is complete heart block? That is incorrect. Team E, WMC. What are conduction abnormalities like heart block? She just guess heart block. Yes, sir. Yeah. That is incorrect. Team C, U of R. Yes. What is Lyme carditis? That is incorrect. Uh, we still can go to the next team, Katarina, if somebody yeah. else buzzed in. Team B, Mount Sinai. But if they didn't buzz in, they don't have to answer, right? They did buzz in. Okay. Then they have to answer. Um, what is arthritis? That is correct. <laughs> All right. Team B, it's your board. If you're on mute, you might want to take yourself off mute. Katarina, that was team B that got the question right, yes? Yes. Okay, yeah. Um, dark room 300. 300. These are TEE 3D echo images that are obtained from a patient with mitral regurgitation. The most likely etiology of mitral regurgitation is A, rheumatic heart disease, B, ischemic cardiomyopathy, C, degenerative mitral valve disease, 
or D, congenital heart disease? Team D, Cornell? What is C, degenerative mitral valve disease? That is correct. To your board. Uh, let's do electric for 300. Ventricular tachycardia from bundle branch reentry. A is never present in ischemic cardiomyopathy. B is present only in normal heart. C can be present in any patient. Or D, none of the above. Sorry, too quick on the buzzer. Team C, U of R. We are going with what is C can be present in any patient. That is correct. Sorry, electric for 400, please. The most recent guidelines on atrial fibrillation ablation by the European Society of Cardiology suggest that the ablation of proxismal atrial fibrillation in patients with normal heart can be performed A, as a first therapy, first line therapy, B, after the failure of a single antiarrhythmic drug, C, after the failure of at least two antiarrhythmic drugs, D, after the failure of at least three antiarrhythmic drugs, and E, none of the above. Team E, WMC. What is A as a first therapy, first line therapy? That is correct. Chair board? Let's do uh, food as fuel for 400. A 2021 analysis of 3,003 subjects found that each serving of ultra processed foods, such as soda or chips, resulted in an increased risk of incident coronary heart disease of A, 3%, B, 5%, C, 7%, or D, 9%. Team B, Mount Sinai, Morningside. What is 7%? That is incorrect. Team D, Will Cornell. What is B, 5%? That is incorrect. Team E, WMC. What is 3%? Well, that is incorrect. <laughs> I highly recommend the other team answer. <laughs> team A, S-I-U-H, Northwell. I read it. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> uh, what is 9%? That is correct. <laughs> A, it's your board. Excuse me, really quick. I don't want to make, should we stop after three? Because. Yeah, they kind of get it after process of elimination. Well, only if they have the buzzer. Did they have the buzzer? Yeah, if they buzzed in, then we will call on them. Yes. Did they, did they, okay, did they fair enough. Yeah. yeah, did they buzz on that? Yes. Okay, then that's fine. Okay, who has the board? I think it was team A, am I right? Dark. Can we have dark room for uh, 200? This is an associated valvular lesion that may result in overestimation of mitral valve area by the pressure halftime method. A, aortic regurgitation, B, aortic stenosis, C, mitral regurgitation, or D, pulmonary stenosis. What is A, aortic regurgitation? So I think let's wait for Katerina to call out, but she did, I believe team D. Was that Cornell that answered? Is A, aortic regurgitation? That is incorrect. Team A, Northwell? S I U H. Let's see mitral regurgitation. That is incorrect. Team B, Mount Sinai.
Uh, what is aortic stenosis? That is correct. Chair board? Water restriction 400. This is when aortic pressure exceeds L left ventricular pressure during LVAD support and the aortic valve remains closed. Team E, WMC. What is the valve dependency with closed aortic valve? That is incorrect. Team D, Well Cornell. Please answer. Um, what is when LVAD speed RPM are too high? Say that again. What is when RVAD or LVAD speeds are too high? That is incorrect. Team B, Mount Sinai, Morningside. Please answer. What is aortic regurgitation? That is incorrect. Team C, U of R. Please answer. What is, uh, go ahead. What is uh, constant recirculation? What is what? Recirculate, recirculation. Recirculation. No, this is uh, incorrect. Anybody else buzz in or I can't see that? Uh, team A did buzz in, but a little bit late. I don't know. Um, I think it was after the timer went off. Then we can't uh, include right. that. So I'll um, go ahead and show the answer. Yeah, go ahead. What is LV aortic pressure on coupling? So who goes on that one next then? Whoever State won the State. last question. So whoever State. called for that okay. category. Uh, dark room 400. These TE images are obtained in a patient evaluated in the emergency room with atypical chest pain, severe hypertension, and a cardiac murmur. The most likely diagnosis is A, type 1 aortic dissection, B, type 2 aortic dissection, C, patent ductus arteriosum, or D, aortic coarctation. Team B, Mount Sinai. What is type 2 aortic dissection? That is incorrect. Team C, U of R. Uh, what is D, aortic, aortic coarctation? Coarctation. That is correct. Yes. We will take dark room for 100. Finish the category, please. This is a technical <clears throat> adjustment that increases cardiac ultrasound temporal resolution, A, increasing image depth, B, reducing image sector width, C, increasing ultrasound frequency, or D, changing from harmonic to fundamental imaging mode? B. Uh, we we go with... let them let them. Team E, both e. first. Uh, B, reducing image sector width. That is correct. Sure, board. We will go with water restriction for $300. This is the oh, LV. Wait, sorry, one second. We have people buzzing in before we even go to the question. Judges, what would you like to do with that? Um, well, was it shown or not shown? It wasn't shown. It was shown before. Then we were still on the board. Then you yeah. stop again and let it yeah. reset. Probably. Oh. This is the LV external stroke work. Team D. 
Will Cornell? Please answer. What is afterload? That is incorrect. Team B, uh, Mount Sinai. Please answer. What is just what is uh, systemic vascular resistance? That is incorrect. And those are the only ones that buzzed in after. So show the answer. So this is the area inside the pressure volume loops. That's how we define stroke work. Was this you, Avar? Oh, you're breathing heavy. We'll take food as fuel for 100. In 2015, strongman Patrick Babumian broke his own world record for the yoke walk by carrying 560 kilograms for 10 meters. Mr. Babunian's diet was A, intermittent fasting, B, ketogenic, C, Mediterranean, D, vegan, or E, Western? Ketogenic. Team D, Cornell. What is D, vegan? That is correct. Picture While not exclusively indicated when consuming a plant-based dietary pattern, a supplement that is recommended when consuming a plant-based diet is A, iron, B, vitamin B12, C, vitamin C, D, vitamin E, or E, folate. Team B, Mount Sinai. What is vitamin B12? That is correct. And the last question, I'll go ahead and click. In prospective cohort studies, consuming a more plant-based dietary pattern has been associated with A, fewer heart failure hospital admissions, B, lower blood pressure, C, improved erectile function, D, lower type two diabetes risk, E, all of the above, or F, none of the above. Team E, WMC. What is E, all of the above? That is correct. All right, um, Kaylee, we will need these current scores from you, please. Can you read them off or put them up? I have Northwell at 200, Mount Sinai at negative 900, URMC at 100. Oh, we'll, well, I can't talk. Cornell at negative 1400 and WMC at negative 100. So the way that we do this is only teams with positive points can continue to play. So that leaves Northwell and URMC if I'm correct, right, Kaylee? That leaves Northwell and URMC, correct. So thank you to the other teams for, uh, for your participation. You can stay on, but we're going to move to final jeopardy. And it will be just Northwell and URMC who are playing Final Jeopardy. Wait, can we get a clarification? We thought there were two rounds, then Final Yeah, round. there's two rounds, uh, Mary. Yeah, there were two rounds, right? No, the second round is for the, oh, I'm sorry, you are right, you are right. Um, no, two rounds and then Final Jeopardy. That was okay. So then we don't second do team. Final Jeopardy, right? We just have two teams that play off. Yeah, we don't need Yeah, that's later on. Right now, all teams stay on for the second game. Yeah, thank you for the clarification. Um, I'm going to go to the next game. Good job, guys. You guys are doing an awesome yeah. job. Okay. Now you know how it works. All the jitters are out. This is second chance. Nobody's blowing anybody away, so it's okay. The only thing I would say is um, try to avoid blurting out answers, you know, um, until it's your turn to talk. And then, you know, when it is your chance, when we, when um, Kaylee or Katarina call on you, please make sure that you unmute quickly and answer at that point. And again, don't, we only have this happen once, but don't buzz before, uh, just don't you know, buzz by accident because then everybody, we ruin it in terms of who was first because other people may have buzzed too. And we have to reset, which is probably not the fairest thing. So it only happened once. We're gonna go ahead and go straight to the board since the categories remain the same. Correct.
And the team with the highest amount was Northwell from the last game at 200. Uh, can we have electric for 200? The most recent guidelines on atrial fibrillation by the European Society of Cardiology suggests that catheter ablation of atrial fibrillation in what? patients with heart failure with reduced ejection fraction and atrial fibrillation is in class A1, B2A, C2B, or D3. Team C, U of R. What is what, class one, A? That is incorrect. Team D, Cornell. What is B to A? That is correct. And before I move on, uh, Katerina, it looks like team uh, WMC buzzed in. Um, so just a reminder, team E, you are no longer playing. It's just U of R and Northwell right now. No, I thought um, we're- No, no, no. This is everybody, the second round. Okay. Yeah. Should we? Okay, this is only the second question. Everybody was buzzing, so it's okay. Okay, so all teams are playing again. Yes. Okay. Can we do diagnosticians for 100? This is the score used to calculate risk or benefit to the patient by anatomy alone. Team E, WMC. What is the syntax score? That is correct. <laughs> we'll take the diagnosticians for 200. Gibson murmur is heard in patients with this. Team E, WMC. Uh, what is pulmonic stenosis? That is incorrect. Team D, Cornell. What is PDA? That is correct. It's your board. Uh, diagnosticians for 300. The 2020 ACC AHA guidelines for valvular heart disease recommends transcatheter edge-to-edge -edge repair in patients with chronic severe secondary mitral regurgitation related to the left ventricular systolic dysfunction above this left ventricular ejection fraction. Team E, WMC. What is above 25%? That is incorrect. Team D, Cornell. What is 30%? That is incorrect. Team A, Northwell. What is greater than 20%? That is correct. Uh, can we uh, go for electric 300, please? This rhythm is identified as Team D, Cornell. What is sinus with biventricular pace make, pacing? That is incorrect. Team B, Mount Sinai. Please answer. What is CRT? That is incorrect. Team C, U of R. What is a, a, a VVI? Pace rhythm with a, an incorrectly paced place uh, pacer lead? That is incorrect. Team A, Northwell, S I U H. What is, um, what is asynchronous uh, CRT uh, pacing, uh, biventricular pacing? That is incorrect. Team E, WMC. What is uh, atrial flutter with B pacing?
close but incorrect. Can't give it to you. So we all got it wrong? Yes. All right, show the answer. It's a fib with five ventricular pacing. Yeah. Can we take a um, minor pause here? Um, Jared disconnected and Jaya or Jaya with uh, Will Cornell and, okay, we're good, we're on. As Thank long you. as someone on that team stays on, they, they funnel through that person. Everybody good? Yes. They were spectators. All right, back to the board. Is it us, uh, Team A, or? Yeah, who was the last winner prior to this question? Uh, yeah, it was. Know? Okay, so we'll go for electric 400, please. A 66-year-old woman with past medical history of hypertension and diabetes presented to the emergency department for recurrent palpitations and dizziness for the past month. Three months ago, she presented with similar symptoms and was found to be in atrial fibrillation. She was admitted to the telemetry floor and underwent successful electrical cardioversion after transesophageal echocardiogram revealed no left atrial appendage thrombus. She remained in sinus rhythm and was discharged with apixaban five milligrams two times a day. A few weeks later, she returned to the emergency department with palpitations and shortness of breath and an electrocardiogram showing atrial fibrillation with ventricular rate of 120 beats per minute. Metoprolol was started for rate control. The next best approach to manage this patient's atrial fibrillation is to A, continue metoprolol, B, refer patient for atrial fibrillation ablation, C, start diltiazem, and D, start amiodarone. That was a mouthful. <laughs> Team D, Cornell. What is refer patient for atrial fibrillation ablation? That is correct. Chair Board? Uh, diagnostations for 400. This, please see image. Team E, WMC. What is dynamic LVOT obstruction, broken bro, prawn wall, moro sign? That is correct. And I would have killed you guys if you didn't get that. <laughs> Chair Board? Water restriction for 100. This is the major source of ATP in the myocardium. Team D, Cornell. What is fatty acids? That is incorrect. Team B, Mount Sinai. What is ketones? That is incorrect. Team C, U of R. Glycogen. What is glycogen or glucose? That is incorrect. Team E. WMC. What is acetyl-CoA? That is incorrect. Team A did not buzz in. Let's see the answer. What is oxidative phosphorylation? Back to the board, your board. Water restriction for 200. This is the combination of ECMO plus impella support for patients with cardiogenic shock. What is ECMO? Oh, <laughs> Ms. Bort, who, who buzzed in D. first? Team D, Bell Cornell. What is ECPELA? That is correct. You have board? Water is section for 300. This is the largest reservoir of blood within the body that is recruitable during sympathetic activation to support increased cardiac output during exercise. Mount Sinai, Team B. Uh, what is peripheral veins or veins in the leg? That is incorrect. 
Team E, WMC. Please answer. Uh, what is the gut? Uh, the, basically, the splanchnic circulation, the gut and the GI. Yes, that's correct. Thanks for clarifying. Your board? Also, please, everybody, don't buzz in until uh, the question is on the board. We'll do water restriction for 400. This is a load independent index of left ventricular contractility. Team D, Cornell. Please answer. What is LV strain imaging or strain imaging? That is incorrect. Team E, WMC. Please answer. What, huh? What's the stroke volume index? That is incorrect. Team B, Mount Sinai, Morningside. Say again. Team Nobody B, answered. Mount Sinai. <laughs> answer. Please answer. What is cardiac power output? That is incorrect. Team C, U of R. Please answer. You're on mute. My apologies. Uh, what is um, uh, LV like and, and systolic uh, contraction? That is incorrect. Is that all the buzzes, Kat? Correct. Yep. What is end systolic elastance? Um, please remember to not buzz and before the questions are up and have been read. All right, uh, Katarina, who is it? Just to clarify, you can buzz as the question is up, uh, even as uh, Dr. Vadil is reading it, but not before that. Kaylee, the last person to win? I think it was us. We'll do electric for 100. During catheter ablation of atrial fibrillation, the use of intracardiac echo, A, allows to reduce the complications of transeptal puncture, B, allows rapid recognition of a pericardial effusion, C, allows the identification of the esophagus and reduces the risk of atrial esophageal fistula, D, all of the above, or E, none of the above. WMC? Team E? What is D, all of the above? That is correct. We'll do the dark room for 100. You're asked to determine if a small aortic valve echo density seen on a parasternal long axis cardiac ultrasound image represents a vegetation. The following instrumental settings will allow, it will result in increased ultrasound axial resolution. A, lowering the ultrasound frequency, B, reducing ultrasound wavelength, C, increasing transmit gain compensation, and D, reducing image depth. Team D, Cornell. What is D, reducing imaging depth? That is incorrect. Team E, WMC. What is B, reducing ultrasound wavelength? That is correct. Dark room 200. In a patient evaluated with mitral regurgitation, the following adjustments will increase the size of the flow convergence region to measure the PISA radius more accurately. A, decreasing mechanical index, B, increasing ultrasound wavelength, C, decreasing pulse Doppler repetition frequency, or D, increasing color sector width. Team A, S I U H, Northwell. What is C, decreasing pulse Doppler repetition frequency? That is correct.
Uh, we'll go for dark tone 300, please. This is a diagnosis of a 54 year old man with a history of non ischemic cardiomyopathy, advanced AV block status post, dual chamber pacemaker, and non sustained ventricular tachycardia. Cardiac MRI images are shown. Cornell, Team D. What is sarcoidosis? That is correct. Hundred. Oh, dark room for 400. A patient with aortic stenosis is evaluated prior to colonoscopy after an episode of lower gastrointestinal bleeding. On transthoracic echocardiography, LVOT diameter measures 2.0 centimeters, peak LVOT pulse Doppler velocity measures two meters per second, and peak aortic continuous wave Doppler velocity is 3.5 meters per second. The following best approximates the peak transvalvular aortic gradient, A33 millimeters of mercury, B49 millimeters of mercury, C64 millimeters of mercury, and D81 millimeters of mercury. SIUH, Team A. What is A33 millimeter mercury? That is correct. So there are some teams that are buzzing, and even before the question is asked. Um, I'm clearing them. They clear them. They know, they know they're picking on the ones that come after the question, after the is shown. Yeah, Katarina and Kelly are on clearing anything. Uh, can we go for uh, food is fuel 100, please? A randomized controlled trial published in the New England Journal of Medicine in 2007 evaluated the impact of intensive versus usual oral care in those with periodontal disease on cardiovascular outcomes. And at six months found this, A, no impact, D, decreased inflammation, C, decreased inflammation and improved endothelial function, E, decreased inflammation and no change in endothelial function, and finally, E, no change in inflammation and improved endothelial function. Team D, Cornell. What is A, no impact? That is incorrect. Team C, U of R. What is choice uh, C, decreased inflammation and improved endothelial function? That is correct. Let's do food as fuel for 400. In order to meet protein and amino acid requirements for healthy individuals, a minimally processed plant-based diet should A, combine certain protein combinations such as rice and beans at regular intervals, B, varied over the course of a day, C, B, supplemented with animal protein to meet needs, D, B, supplemented with lysine, or E, limit whole grains. Team D, Cornell. Uh, what is B, B, varied over the course of a day? That is correct. Uh, we'll take food as fuel for 200. Based on a pathology study of 12 to 14 year old Americans who died for reasons unrelated to cardiovascular disease, this percentage had early signs such as fatty streaks of atherosclerosis. A 5%, B 25%, C 50%, D 65%, and E 95%. What is? Team D. Uh, what is B, 25%? That is incorrect. Team C, U of R. What is D, 65%? That is correct. Last question, I'll go ahead and choose it. A post hoc analysis of the Predi Med study evaluated the health impact of higher baseline conformity with the pro vegetarian dietary protein pattern versus less conformity. Those with highest conformity to a pro-vegetarian dietary pattern consume the least amount of animal products. 
This best describes the health impact of greater baseline conformity to a pro-vegetarian dietary pattern versus less baseline conformity to a pro-vegetarian dietary pattern, A, no association with health outcomes, B, increased hazard of stroke, C, reduced hazard of mortality, D, reduced hazard of peripheral arterial disease, and E, reduced hazard of heart failure admissions. U of R, Team C. What is C, reduced hazard of mortality? That is correct. Let's get the scores now. We're in a bit of an unusual situation here. Um, <laughs> uh, Kaylee, will you read off the scores for the teams? So we have Northwell at 800, Mount Sinai at negative 2,000. URMC at negative 100, Will Carnell at negative 1600, and WMC at negative 100. So we only have one team that's above. Uh, According to the game rules. Um, guys, I, I noticed that that team and a lot of other teams were buzzing prematurely. Um, so I don't know if we can maybe modify the final Jeopardy to account for that, since the, the rules weren't really being followed. Um, well, it depends on, I think we were, even if they're above, we, we can see the first, second, third, fourth after. Yeah, we were, um, Katerina, Kelly, Mary, do you want to just explain what you guys were doing behind the scenes? Right. So, and actually you guys, if you can see the buzzer too, um, you can only see the top three, but we can actually see all of the folks who buzzed in and we know when. So if somebody buzzed in before the question was even up, Katerina was able to see that. We, buzzed in. we we saw them. Well, I don't. Maybe you guys can see something we can't. But we saw them buzzing in before the question even popped up on our end. It did happen a couple of times. I did clear the buzzer um, in those instances. Um, now there were a lot of instances where people were buzzing in when the question was coming up, um, but if it was before, we cleared it. Right, and I and I believe it's still Northwell that's in the lead, and I think it was if I'm not mistaken another team that was buzzing in um, before everybody else. So the way it works now is because only one team has any amount of money that can uh, that can wager anything that is the, that is the winner for this for uh, New York Jeopardy. So who is that? Is that is that Northwell team? Correct. Correct. All right, well, congratulations guys. And thank you everyone for participating. You guys all did an amazing job. Um, and, you know, we look forward to doing this in person next year, if, if you know, everything allows. Hari, do you wanna say a couple words and we can do some of the thank yous? No, that's it. I think I wanna uh, thank our staff. Uh, they put an amazing amount of work into this. Uh, Mary Kaylee and uh, Katarina, uh, Dr. Badula and myself are very proud of this. Uh, and we do want the teams to go and uh, I, I wrote on Twitter to kick some butt at national. So uh, we are uh, hopeful you guys will do that. Thank you everybody for participating and hopefully you'll enjoy the rest of your weekend. And these are the thank yous to the, uh, 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 the question writers. Yes, and you, as many of you said, I think Dr. Burkhoff wrote a lot of hemodynamic questions, a lot of difficult ones. You guys did a really great job with all the questions. So keep up the good work and stay warm, stay well and have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Thanks everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.